age. Hi. How is that? How are you? Long time. I'm good. Mm, long time indeed. You good? Yeah. I see you good. Mm -hmm. You see what? <laughs> So I said I was asking if you're if you're if you're great if you're good. Oh yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I was uh, like, I see you're good. Nothing has changed. How is the market? Mm -hmm. Except maybe you're losing weight. Ha. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You're losing weight. You're losing weight. I'm losing weight. <laughs> mm. -hmm. I say, I say, you know, what you're saying. You've lost me. <laughs> You've lost me. You've lost me a bit of weight. Uh, the market is okay. I've been testing my stuff. Because this is the time I tried to blow my demo account. <laughs> Only to open it with 27,000 later. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How's the market your side? Ah, uh, my side all is well, all is well, all is well, all is well. I'll just want to meet you guys. It's been long. Yes, indeed. It's been long, it's been long, it's been long. So you're not just big. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. um, you're not just big. You're not just big. Like, I'm um, just using my demo account all this time. I'm about to deposit though. I believe this time you will kill it. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Definitely you kill it. Yes, I, I, I feel like since I won't be um available 24-7, it just makes me trade um short trades and not just get into the market whenever I want. Please, okay, okay, it's, it's fine. It's okay. My you, my you is killing it. <laughs> yeah, I saw. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's my thing. Ah, uh, yeah. I think it's good that she 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 kept on um like she she kept on trading even yeah, though she yeah, was yeah. facing a lot of different things. Yeah, I think it's, that's really good. It helps with your mental fortitude. Yeah. It's really quite great. And and um, what about Terence? Terence, Terence. Training is mm. training. Oh, training. oh no! Just that you it's, it's, it's just like if, uh, my junior, they 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 will get wrong now and then. Oh, I didn't hear what you said. Come again. I say like it's just like my junior. Those guys they they, mm -hmm. they like throwing like. Almost. <laughs> I think it's good. as long as it helps with your mental, your mental health, whatever. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's yeah. very, very good. How is uh, uh? How is your sister, the young sister? <laughs> she's good. She's improving a lot. Um. Yeah, she's been studying a lot of the chess because now now nowadays she's like three. So um no school, no whatever. So yeah. She's 
She has been trading. She's killing it. Mm. Yeah, we wouldn't say killing it, but then, yeah, it's just stupid to say that. Like, most of her trades are like, what? I don't know, 70, 70% winning, most probably. But I think she needs to be taught to withdraw. What? Withdraw, withdraw. I, I think she needs to be taught to withdraw because like she's always like growing her small accounts. Then I don't know what happens. You never hear what the money goes. She doesn't withdraw. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think so. I've, I've never heard her saying she could throw any or actually send it into its growing. It's like I'm working in town, so like I'm close to the agents and stuff. How is, the uh, how is your sister? Oh, it's okay. Can't really complain. How is your sister? I haven't heard from her in a, in a while. How My sister. Do, uh, um, in her table. Mm. I have sisters. The 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 little one. No, I'm asking the the, oh, little, the little one, one. one oh. in school. Oh, oh, that one. Ah, that oh. one. She's fine. The other ones are, yeah. The other ones, I don't really know them, but then I could also ask just for formalities. Ah, oh. yeah. how are they? Yeah, right. Excuse me, sir. You came. You know, Vicky, when she was supposed to come here last month, oh, hey. you? Who else? Who? No, I postponed it. Uh -huh. Oh, you postponed it. Okay. Uh -huh. No. Nope. Yeah. That's fine then. I guess we can still expect you. Yeah, definitely. 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 Uh, ah, these people, this people, they, they're not trying to play. Yeah, they're I don't like them. Mm -hmm. There's some people, they're not. Oh yeah, by the way, I I, I was uh not just getting a survey on those accounts, you remember the funded ones. Yes. It funded me. Yeah, so I was trying to purchase one, right? And get to it. Um so I was there and then I heard from this other lady suddenly she's pretty good at trading stuff. Uh her name is Mel. So he was saying um, she also got an account there, but then they told her that, like, I don't know if it's part of the terms and conditions, you can't trade me. So I'm just like, huh? Like, does it matter what I trade as long as I'm comfortable? That's right. With, 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 with. Oh, that was so weird. And which company is the funding? Uh, the Funded next. Funded next. Funded next. I've never used. I've never. Used. Mm -hmm. The only one that I. Oh uh, my. It's my FX funds. Oh, and. My funds. But yeah, some of them they they actually give they they tell you you must trade this, yeah, must trade this. Actually, you, Oh, but my FX funds doesn't do that. I doesn't. 
Hi, Baba Ninjan. I'm okay. Happy New Year. I'm okay. Happy New Year. Hey, Happy New Year to everyone. <laughs> How are you then? Guys, I joined late. I just saw it late. Okay. How is the market? I've been following since I don't have a live at the moment. Okay. So I'm just watching videos. You're still, you're still in KZN. Collecting the information. Hello? You're still in KZN. Yes, Papa. Okay. Hi, it's, it's, it's okay. I think, I think. So are you still trading uh, on the reef? Hello. Are you still are you still using the reef? Yeah. I'm still using the reef. Um maybe I'll find extents for next time. But yeah. Who is that? That was me. I'm saying hi. <laughs> I did say hi before the teacher. Hi, Jenny. Ah, nya pila. Ah, eh, nya pila. Ah. Let's study and make money, guys. 2023 is our year. <laughs> so that you can all come to KZN to visit Mama. Hi, hi, hi. Definitely, we are coming. Uh, so, uh, I just want to go through. Seventy five, and maybe one or two questions just so that you see some of the changes that we've made there. And the way we analyze best of the and best of the courses. Well, if you check uh, on the private we have changed, we have not changed, but we've added more. Uh, Concepts on the ones that we already had. That is just for the purpose of um, the purpose of, the, of improving the edge points and the exit points. So whatever that we learned in smart contract strategy, but when all it still works. But the information that we added on 3.4 is just there to find new entry points and new exit points. I hope it's clear that I, I, I hope I'm clear on that. Can you hear me? Not clear. Um, yeah, it's breaking. 
Okay, so uh I think my network is bad. Okay. So this is Galactic 75. I'm going to call the now it starts from the highest time frame, which is the daily. This is the daily time frame. Right? Can you hear me properly? No. No, to some extent, yeah. Maybe it might work. Because I think it's the next way to what now? Right? Always yes. oh, touch from the highest time frame. Uh, I don't know why this 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 uh this derivative doesn't cover this trading for derivative. I don't know why it doesn't but we have started today, but it doesn't look like just from the day. So from the daily, what you are doing is simply checking the market uh, direction of the market structure that is there. So here in the operandi, you will see that operandi, we are in a bearish market structure, right? We are downtrending, right? Operandi. Right? So, being in a bearish market structure like this, we always know that at the bottom of the channel, which is here, mm -hmm. the channel, mm -hmm. we buy the top to sell. So here, this is what you'll be doing on the daily. You're simply doing a rough analysis of identifying the open market structure. Once you've identified the open market structure, you know, not your most significant zone. So here, we can already see that overall, we are in a bearish market structure. This bearish market structure, you can actually see that these are these are our extreme lower highs that we just no, 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 no. These are our extreme lower highs, lower high, lower low here, lower low here. These are extreme lows, lower low here. So you can actually see that this is simply a downtrending market. Right. So having seen that, you can actually start to see that the probability of this market coming and touching this top of the channel before dropping its high. So that is simply one of the scenarios that we are most likely looking at. Right. After we've done that on the daily, we can simply zoom in now. Zooming in now, we want to identify our most significant zones, that is our zones of supply and demand, support and resistance, uh, any other blocks, any family gaps. So, for example, this area here, this area to me, this is simply, it was simply a, a support. So, simply a support, market block the support. So, according to, according to what we've now learned and to master, you know that. Once a support image a support like that has been broken, the probability of the market coming back to reach at that zone is very high. So right now the market is here. The market is here. The probability of this market coming all the way, touching here before dropping, is very high. Right? So after having marked our levels like that on the daily, we now go to the for our time frame. For our time frame, we're going to refine some of the levels as well as to refine some of the entry and the exit points that we are most probably looking at. So this is for our time frame. So on the for our time frame, according to smart conference trading, 1.4, 2.4, and 3.4, right? When we zoom in like this, when we zoom in like this on the for our time, we identify this is what we call internal market structure. Internal market structure, these are the lower highs and the lower lows that you identify inwardly. They are not the external. This is lower high, lower high, 
this was a lower high, lower clients. So this, what we are now identifying after we zoom in, it's not the external structure, but also on the daily. This is what we call internal market structure. So internal market structure is also relevant when when, when it comes to the entry points that we want to, to do now. So here, according to internal market structure, you can actually realize that here, on this lower high here, there was a break here. On this lower high there, on this lower high. Can you see it? They say yes. lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. So there, where the market broke the lower high, that's, that's what we call the, 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 there has been a change of character. A change of character is simply changing from a bearish market to a bullish market. So this was a bearish market, now it's a bullish market. So that's so where the break happens, that's what we call a change of character. So this change of character happened there. So that change of character, what causes a change of character is momentum. Momentum and also the kicking in of momentum, also the kicking in of bias here. Bias here. Right. So this change of character here. So this change of character here. This change of character here, if ever we look down here, we realize that this low here, which was a lower low, is the one that broke this lower high, right? So from down here, we start to mark our relevant level. So for example, here, we have what we call a demand, which is either this last uh, bearish candle before the bullish move, that can be our zone of demand like that as the first major song that we're looking at that might have resulted in the break of when the change of character to start start being in a bullish market so after that we realized that the market went up came down then here on this particular incident here you realize that the market uh shoot up from this zone shoot up from this zone here here he tried to shoot, didn't go anywhere. Here tried to shoot, didn't go anywhere. Here tried to shoot, didn't go. But on this particular zone now, this particular zone, the market market managed to go up impulsively. This particular zone it went up impulsively. This zone it went up impulsively. So had this market broken up like this, changed character there, broke this lower high, and came back down to this zone. Where the initial impulse move started, could have also bought on this level, right? That was a level that you have bought one. But now you realize that it didn't do that. It didn't do that. It actually came to the second zone. So this is the third major zone, right? Because of this impulse move on this one. Impulse move, that's a significant major zone. Same as here, impulse move in this one, that's a second uh, significant major zone. So either one of those two, you are going to buy on those levels. This does not mean that you will not have bought anywhere, in, anywhere from this, this time here. Anywhere from this time, you could have bought because according to smart conference trading, what we're going to go to here, you could have bought here. Trend line, trend line, breakout. Retest breakout on in retest of the trend line. You always know that you, you buy. That was a buy opportunity based on smart contract trading 1.0 and 2.0. So buying there according to smart contract trading 1.0 and 2.0. Where is your target? Your target you either look at the previous highs or the previous levels of support or resistance. That was the resistance here. Opportunity different color resistance resistance as well here right so according to that end that you would have bought here break retail to the on the retail there's no just below the trend line 
first you target this resistance or this high here. This resistance, the high or this resistance. First target reached, second target reached. So TP1 and TP2 already hit just by following smart movements trading 1.4 and 2.4. So this end you would have gotten it simply based on the breaking it just off the trend line, right? After that now, you now look at what I'm now saying, whereby you now look at the overall market structure, whereby this previous size was broken, after the previous size is broken, we have what we call a change of character. After a change of character has happened, you, all, you, 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 you mark this zone where the impulse move that caused the change of character happened. Where is the zone that caused the change of character? Is this zone here. This zone is the one that broke this, the, 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 the structure here. This zone here. This zone as well, one can also look at this zone, but this zone is not as strong as this one. Let me just move this. This zone here at the bottom is not strong as this one. Why? If you look at the zone, the zone at the bottom, the market pushed in as much as it pushed impossibly. It never went all the way to come and break this previous high. Can you see that? It didn't go all the way. This market didn't go all the way to break here. That's why it's not as strong as this one. This one is strong because it went all the way, broke the structure here, which is the previous side. Broke the previous side. That's why it's a strong level. Hence, that's why you see the market after doing all it, it came back to test that level, which is a strong level. It it was not even supposed to break here because this is stronger than this one. So here you could have also gotten a buy opportunity here on this zone as well. This does not mean that you are not going to enter any sales that might be there. Sales would have gotten them any other selling opportunities would have gotten them. For example, here the buy say you bought here based on the breaking the trend line, TP1, TP2, okay, fine. Then you also can use your trend lines here. Trend line. First touch here. Second touch there. Right. That was also another simple structure that you would have used to enter this selling opportunity that are very all the way to your soul. So you realize that our approach now we actually allows you to buy and sell in as much as the market will be. Let's say the market is now uptrending. For example, right now, let's say the market, we are now in an uptrending market. In as much as we are focusing on buying. But our, our our strategies now allows us to even take advantage of even the selling opportunities that might be there. For example, this was a selling opportunity here. You could have drawn that channel. This was a selling opportunity here. The break of this channel here. Breakout there, you could have sold all the way to the zone, which is this zone. Or you could have also sold here at the top here. It was also, in as much as the sell here at the top, it's a more risky sell. It's a more risky sell. First touch, second touch, third touch. It's okay. It's a more risky sell because we are still within this overall channel. We are still within this channel. We are still within this channel. That's why that sell at the top is it's a more risky sell. So after selling there at the top, it's fine. You will take a touch and sell or wait for the break of the channel for the market to come out of this whole channel, which was key. After coming out here, you could have actually taken a sell position then upon the break there would have gone one hour 30 minutes one hour 30 minute time frame could have gone and put an air smaller stop loss you enter your target your the final target is this so right obviously you always know that these levels of support like this one whereby the market came to the support uh you could have actually shifted your stop loss lower after the break of this support here. So the break of the support would have shifted the stop loss that you were having here, would have shifted it lower and lower and lower. So there, so these are the trades that one could have actually gotten on the big seven five just by following what we we what we have been teaching in our private uh, groups. You would have taken this buy. This is the these are high probability trades. You realize that in between the market was just fluctuating. These are what I call fluctuation. Fluctuation are zones like this, moments like this, where the market is 
the dating structure. It's a fluctuation. During fluctuations, long I do not advise you to take a trade. Wait for the limit to establish structure. Once it's established structure, you enter upon the break of that structure that has been established, like here. So you realize that in between here, you're not even going to take a trade. So this is the trade that you have taken coming to your zone, which is your significant zone, which you wanted to actually buy as well, which is this zone. So after coming to your zone there, what you simply do, you enter. 30 minute or one hour time frame, you go there, you get a smaller stop loss, stop loss just below the zone. You come, you, as the market comes to the zone, you wait for the rejection. Once the market rejects, that's when you enter. You enter, where is your target? Your target now, we're looking at the previous high. The previous high is this zone here. This zone here, which was actually reached. You check the market reached the target here. This is the previous high. Market reached the target. For that buy. So this buy here from here, we would have held all the way to the which was almost five days holding this buy. This buy actually lasted five days on this four hour time frame. Each kind of four hours, four hours for actual five days of holding that buy. So so far these are the most high probability trades that you could have taken. Remember our target we are simply looking forward for the market to push all the way have been to this zone maybe before going down according to what we analyzed on the daily right so after having seen this on the four hour we've seen that our target for the buy has been reached okay so after breaking the previous high like that that zone we call it a break of structure that point where the market breaks the previous high we call it a break of structure so a break of structure just like a change of character we always expect the market to give us a retracement before continuing to walk up. So if I can use my Fibonacci point A here, point B is the final point where the market turned there. So I can do, do this point A, point B. So right now, somewhere somewhere around uh around 30.2, if not 30.2, around 50%. Not 50 percent around 61.8 market can actually stretch all the way there before going back all the way up that is one way you can actually identify that entry point simply by using your Fibonacci. so we can actually also go now to one hour and see what one hour is telling us i hope i hope it's clear is it clear is it making any sense yes Right. So on one hour, we are simply looking at structure now. We are simply looking at structure. Observe structure. This is structure. Point A, point B. Simple like that. So you realize that as this market was going up, there were so many opportunities to actually scale in more buys. For example, this touch here. First touch here, second touch, third touch here. Third touch here, you could have scaled in more buys. Fourth touch here, you could have scaled in more buys. Those buys, obviously, you enter your stop loss, you just place below the trend line. These were opportunities to scale in more buys because the target was this zone here. So, so long the zone is in your target zone, so long it hasn't been reached, you can still scale in more buys on any opportunities that you may identify in between. In between your zone and your target, our zone was this, our target was that. So, in between the zone, if ever you get any opportunities to scale in trade, you can actually scale in. For example, even if you use your trend line here, something like this, something like that, you can also scale in here after the break of this trend line. After the break of this trend line, you can actually put your stop loss below the trend line because remember, your target is in between. So, you could have bought as well, stop loss below the trend line. Target still the same. Here as the market was building up. Stay touch, stay touch, stay touch. You could have bought, both such you could have bought. Target now was finally reached. So you could have entered so many entries. First entry there, second entry there, third, fourth, four, four or even five entries you could have entered there from that same one entry. So right now we're not waiting for the market to uh we're not waiting for structure to build up. So if you check, this is an impulse move, impulse correction. Most probably, we're expecting an impulse move 
uh, to finish uh, that, 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 uh, that structure here. So impulse move correction, after the correction, we expect an impulse move. Impulse, correction, impulse, something like this. After we get there, that's where we expect some like, consolidation before the market drops down. So right now, remember the market comes to tip into this zone. You can actually buy after the rejection. You can actually buy. If it comes and breaks this top of this trend line, you can actually buy more as well. Target, our target, remember our target is still here. Our target is still there. So this is the first case scenario. If ever the market comes there, you can buy. There as well, you can buy. First case scenario. Second case scenario, we have, uh, uh, we have a support where the market can come, maybe and respect the support, which is this one here. Absolutely. So just in case it wants to come in respect the support, you can also enter on the rejection of the support. But so far, the structure that we are looking at, remember you saw some of the analysis that we sent early in the morning, it was simply, we simply expect this drop to happen. So someone who has moved was actually wanting to scout. Going to 15 minutes, we realize that you actually had something like a break here. This break could have given you some scalping uh, opportunities for sales. Let me just go to 15 minutes so that you see what I'm doing. So that, uh, that other trend line could have given you, this trend line could have given you some selling opportunities. Break, you could have ended on the break. You could have ended on the break of the trend line. This is 15 minutes. You have stop loss. There, either there, or simply tight just above the trend line. You target, you're targeting this uh, bottom of the channel, which is this one. So there you could have entered right now. You still you still be in profit. Right now you've still been profit ever since early in the morning. You've still been profit. You're targeting to come here. Once it comes there, give us a rejection. You can actually buy all the way to the top. Anyone with a question on VIG 75? Based on what we've discussed. Any person? Anyone with a question? Are we, are we, are we all clear? So, I hope it's clear. So, right now, big 75 is dropping. It's dropping. I showed you the entry where you could have entered. You could have entered on the break there. You could have entered. So, right now, even the break here, one can actually, one who wants to scout, can actually scout upon the break of the support, targeting this one. Upon the break, they could actually scout sales. Stop loss just tied above there, all the way up until it reaches the one that you get this one. Wait for the rejection. Once you get the rejection, we are going all the way to the top. So I hope it's clear. I hope it's clear. Are we together? Yeah. 